Alright guys, welcome back to another video. We're going to be talking about three high shortage stocks that I did look at on this list. Now I'm going to give you guys key levels for all three, buying levels, resistance levels, so make sure you guys stay tuned. We'll go to the chart right after, but I want to let you guys know on the short, the actual float and the short interest by the percentage. Now you guys can look through these stocks also, this is on MarketWatch, and any other stocks you guys see, just let me know in the comment section down below so I could probably make another short interest video for you guys probably tomorrow morning. Uh, if I get some time, but if you guys comment them fast enough, then maybe I can later uh, make them later on tonight. So go ahead and check the list, comment those down below. Make sure you guys smash the like button, subscribe if you are new. Also, make sure you watch the video before this one because it has a lot of news events that's going to be happening tomorrow, and I lay them out for you nice and clean so you guys can be watching that. That will be big for tomorrow. It's, it's going to be the biggest thing that the stock market is watching tomorrow. So make sure you watch that video. And then also make sure you watch the video before that to get my top five plays that I'm looking at for tomorrow. The title will say top five plays. So make sure you watch that video too. You do not want to miss that because there's some big plays in that one. So the three that I'm talking about, before we get into it, make sure you guys go subscribe to the Wheel Knowledge Crypto. You know I have to plug it real quick. Go subscribe with Knowledge Crypto. Post some videos. Bigger Bursa Play on Shipping in You, Ape Coin. Solana just posted a video on Bitcoin. So make sure you come subscribe. Wheel Knowledge Crypto, my second channel of cryptos. Okay. So the first one we're going to talk about is BGFC. This is Big Five Sporting Goods, the float. And I'm going to also let you guys know which one I'm expecting the biggest move off of. 7.8 million short interest. The regular float is 20 million. That's about 37% shorted. The next one is Rev, R-E-V. I actually saw some comments on this one, so I will be putting that one in there. Short interest float, 2.9 million. Regular float, 7.8 million, about 37% shorted. And then the last one, where is it? BBY, Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, the short interest float about 22 million, float about 66 million, and float shorted about 32%. Now, just off by looking at the um, float, Rev should have the biggest move. The smaller the float, the bigger move. Remember that, okay? So those are the three that we're going to talk about. Don't forget, make sure you get your six free stocks. We deposit any amount, usually like a dollar in your momo account the link will be in the description also be pinned in the comments right now is a perfect time to get your six free stocks with momo link in the description this is only good until june so you have about maybe 14 more days or so i forgot today's date until get those free stocks perfect time while the market has been crashed you get these six free stocks at a discount deposit any amount and you'll get that don't forget to subscribe also will not crypto now let's go ahead and go over to the charts all right, so now we are with the charts to give you guys the levels on the three shortest stocks. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already and check out the previous videos that I posted before this one. So BGFV, this is the first one that we'll talk about. Let's going to take that one off. Now, this one is actually fairly close to its buying level, and that buying level is right around 1105. This can be a potential reversal play on that upside that we do want to be watching out for. Let's go ahead and turn that level green, okay? Now, I'm looking for it to really go up to about 1340. So, I really want some squeeze type of movement, right? We really will need that squeeze to kind of push it up there. And I'll take about a 21% gain. But like I said, we need volume to pick up. We need that squeeze potential to start pushing it. And then if buying pressure confirms at that 1105 uh, area, I'll enter there. And then I'll be looking to exit around 1340. Now, there will be some resistance levels in here. But I think if it gets enough push... And the shorts have to cover. We should get up to that 1340 pretty easy, okay? So main two levels, ticker symbol BGFB. Next one is REV, ticker symbol REV. REV, let me type this one out right here. Make this a little bigger. I know some of you guys are on your phones. REV, there you go. Now, this one was a penny stock, had a huge pullback. It was like $4.20, and it went all the way down to like a dollar something down 70 it went down 73 percent in two days right 73 percent in two days that is crazy now they had a sell-off after bankruptcy media reports so they're probably going to go into bankruptcy but if pressure can pick up i'm not looking to hold anything too long there's a nice high shorter stock i am expecting the bigger pressure to come off this one and the level that i'm kind of looking out for is two dollars now, even though I'm expecting the biggest move off of this one, I won't be going heavy or anything like that. It'll be like a normal position because they're probably filing for bankruptcy. And I'll probably take that $2 mark up to about $260. So it doesn't need to move too much. I'll actually exit the whole position. This is a get out, get in, get out play. Nice 30% gain right there. 
it should be a good play as long as that volume stays in because I'm probably sure they'll be trying to pump it a little bit, maybe to move the price up. But I don't think it's going to be soaring to like $5 and above $4. But little movements in here like it did today, I think we should be able to catch some for tomorrow. But we'll see how that kind of plays out. And then last one, Bed Bath and & Beyond. Ticker symbol BBBY. BBBY. Make that ticker symbol a little bit bigger. Make sure you guys watch the video before this one on the news that you guys should be watching out for tomorrow because that is what everybody's going to be watching tomorrow and what's really going to be moving the markets, okay? Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY, take that off. Key level, now it's at that level right around $6, six, six so $6.90. That is the key level that I'm looking for right now, $6.90. Now, I'm looking if... If, if, if we can really get pressure, my first exit is $8, but I could see it going to about $11, but we need pressure, we need shorts to cover, we need volume to pick up, we need a lot of stuff to kind of push it up there, but to that $8 mark is about a 16% gain, so once it gets to that $8 mark, I will at least exit half and then let the other half run, it just depends on what selling pressure comes in and stuff like that, but main two lows, I'm looking out for BBBY. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, any more short interest stocks, make sure you comment them down below. Thank you guys for watching. Always remember, no recommendation of buyers. So anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Make sure you guys don't forget. Make sure you come follow me. Will.knowledge. Let's get me over a thousand followers. Come like some photos, comment. Let me know that you came from YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. Will.knowledge.